All right, guys, we just had an $8 million vehicle just leave. John Hager. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. John Hager that broke the. Yeah, that was a sound barrier being broken by that uh, Koenig's, uh, Koenig's Zelig that just left. $8 million car. So, okay, let's take a walk around here at uh, Cars and Brunch, Newport Beach, here at uh, Chihuahua Tap Room, OC. This looks almost like a Myers here, and it's for sale. Gas adjusts on it all the way around. Yeah, we're starting to lose cars for sale here. So the Nova's getting ready to leave here. I believe that's a 66 or 67. It's heading out. So we're gonna pick up folks as they go. Have a good day. Off you go. Yeah, good showing to here today. Quite a few cars. There goes that Nova. Off it goes. All right. We've got a standard Impala coming in, 6.4 on skirts. Very nice car. Super, super clean. It's that copper. I don't know what that is. I think it's a, I forgot what it is. It's the Browns call, but it's an interesting brown. So let's flip back over here. we got a 65 Mustang right here. Nice little cube. And it's super clean. And uh, been around the block, but still really, really nice for a non restored car. American Racing Wheels. I'm not sure what style they are, but super, super clean. All right, we got my 60 bug here today. My cow bug brought that in. I didn't know that was your car. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they match too. Okay, and I got my 60 cal bug here today. This is the one I've been restoring for the last year. And we've got a, another Mustang here. Looks to be like a 65. Convertible. Maroon interior. It's kind of that copper maroon, I'm not sure. Very sweet. Oh, he's got the cup holder. Uh, cup calf. All right, here's the back side of the bug. I just put a fresh 1776 in it. I just installed uh, MPDs, brand new carburetor stuff. And then over here is the back side of that 65 Mustang convertible. Really nice car. So let's walk over here. Let's take a look at the tap truck. Seen that yet? And of course, uh, being hosted cars and brunch here at Chihuahua's Tap Room in Newport Beach. Sponsor here. In the morning, at about five o'clock. And here's Roadster uh, that belongs to uh, Angel. It's 32 Roadster. This is a beautiful car. It is for sale. There's the phone number. This is a top-notch build. There's also a triple deuce manifold that comes with this car. He went to the uh, Edelbrock setup because he wanted to get a little better horsepower, better performance, but it does have a triple deuce coming with it. So if you guys are interested in putting offers in on this car, uh, give Angel a call. He'd be more than willing to talk to you about it. It's just super, super, super clean. It was built uh, with Aunt, by Andy Tyler originally. And uh, Angel's now in the process of building a cameo, so he has to move on and uh, do some new stuff. And this is a 63. I was wrong on the, the Impala earlier. Oops. Wow, I can't believe I got that wrong. Anyway, this is a 63 Impala standard that came in. Super, super clean. Let's take a look at it. Deck speaker. Huh? It's just absolutely beautiful. And I called it a 64 when you, when you were old in. I don't know what I was thinking. I've owned like three 64s. So. It's a super sport. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's even harder. I've had a few of those too. So yeah, this is. I've never had a 63. I've had a 62. I've had a couple 65s. I've had three 64s. And I've never had a 63. I already got off for 7,000. Oh, I bet. I bet. It's a gorgeous car. Oh, it is a PG, okay. Look at the interior. It's just pristine. Is that original you said? No. This is an original car. Wow. Wow. Guys, this is this is like my Impala, my, my 64409, man. This is the level. 
I had a 69 409 that was I was second owner of that was like this, but I got offered to way too much money for it, had to go. Nice setup, 327 in here. Camel hump, yep, Kip. There's your camel hump heads right there. If anybody doesn't know, that's what makes them a camel hump head. One, they don't have any accessory holes. And if you see those two little humps right there, those are your camel humps. And that's what makes some camel hump heads. And it's uh, probably a nice, fast turning 327. Was it a factory uh, power brake? Factory power brakes. Factory power brakes, okay. Brakes. Yeah. yeah, factory, yep, power drum brakes. Super, super clean car. It's been on once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh, really? It's a moving picture car. Nice. So it's been an Atmos, well, it's actually been probably a hero car. Because there's Atmos cars and there's hero cars. So yeah, more than likely a hero car at this at this level. And then, uh, yeah, really beautiful car. Thank you for sharing. So here on PCTV, let's go and take a look at the Dawn at KBL's uh, AC uh, Cobra over here. Thanks. Hey. Dano. Huh? Dano. No, but I was one of his best friends. I'm the guy who bought his glasses for him when they got broken at SEMA. I replaced his glasses for him. So, yeah. What they call you? I'm PCTV. PCTV. Patrick Comfort, yeah. On YouTube. I'll give you a sticker. All right. Yep, Dano was my buddy and sure miss him every day. We we do that. We rebuild the original tranny that comes out of the This is Don uh, from KBL. This is his AC Bristol Cobra. Look what he's running here, man. He's got a Mustang 5 liter in here. Electric fan placement. See how he's tucked it up under here. A lot of work's gone into this. Very, very, very nice simulation. I like his little I like his little cubby back there, that's a good idea. But overall, this is just a nice driver. Big old side pipes on this sucker. Very clean. And of course that beautiful, beautiful gas filler. Just love the gas fill on these. So Don from KBL Transmission, one of the big sponsors at Surf City Classics. All right, so we've got Trisha's over here, and of course the tap truck's here. San Diego tap truck's here. And if you guys ever need a, a tap truck for a party, this is the guy you want to call, man. This panel's badass. He's got all kinds of stuff going on here. Look at this, he's got his custom tap handles going now. All built out. Good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, this is the tap truck. Then they do private parties, anything you want to do. And if you want to go look at them, tap truck OC. Okay, and that's Garrett. And you want to call them at 949-922-5147 for the tap truck OC service. So there you go, on PCTV, great guy to work with. He's not even a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry no. about that. I didn't know you were standing right, right there. Right. <laughs> introduce was, yourself. Smell modeling over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, to Blue us. Steel. No, okay. Hi, Blue my steel. name is Garrett Poirier. Uh, Wait a second. No Magnum. I know. Right? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But my name is Garrett Poirier. It's my business partner, Will Costa How you doing? Nice How are you guys? Um, we run uh, Tap Truck Orange County, so we do all kinds of private parties, weddings, birthdays, serving, you know, classic uh, craft beers right out of the side of our classic cars. I so. love it. You know, I built that Tap Truck van, exactly, so you know I love you know, it. Exactly. And it just got sold and it went to Texas. How much did you sell that thing for? I didn't sell it. Oh, the okay. owner, I built it for the owner. Oh, she and her sold. She sold it for over 40 grand. Animal. That's 69 bus with the full bull and bar that I built inside of it. Woo! But anyway, so yeah. yeah. So guys, you can have this at your party taps down the sides and you got all the information so there you go all Let's right guys go, good to yeah, see you Glad to hear Cheers, it. all right <laughs> moving on moving on all right. all right so that's the line for the day oh we got to go look at the mgs we got to look at the mgs oh dude look at this wagon that just came in too got this beautiful 210 that rolled in i get a look at this look at the french shop look at all the work on this thing is this beautiful Trevor or what? This is a gorgeous car here, huh? The blue on this. Look at the lay down, the interior. I mean, there's just so much going on here. 
Yeah. Panel work on the roof. Look at the roof here. And it's not out of control. I love the perforations on the rear deck. And again, that sliding back window on these two tents, I just think is the coolest thing ever. We run those lake pipes. We've got lake pipes on it. Really, really, really exceptional, exceptional car. As far as sleds go, it's just got all the right stuff done. But now we move over to this. This has got my freak on. I don't know what else to say, but this is something I've never seen. You've gone a direction here that is amazing. I love the dechroming. I love the fact with the paint, the gray, the slider roof. His pop-outs are all been uh, also been all dechromed, and I don't know what coating he used on here. But look at this interior. Look at his gauging. How he's done his tunnel work. He's actually polished and he's actually done all of his firewall work and left all the carpet out and put metal just left all the bare metal instead as it probably was stock because this is a much earlier being a split it is a split no it's an oval it's an oval wow it's a 56 whoops i just tapped his darn uh door frame by accident anyway uh hatches and open on it so we can't really get a look at what's underneath but he's bagged for sure because he's fully laid right now as you can see he's he is laid out so yeah he's bagged and he's on 35s again not sure what he's running back there but overall really really exceptional car get a look at the back of it from here they got a lot more vents on these than on my 60 my 60 the vents are very very small all right, Trevor, what do you think of that one? Pretty good. Oh, and Darren's got his OBS here today, so that means Darren and Christy are in here somewhere with his cow induction hood, or he even put the cow induction right on the hood. There's a really beautiful 71 at Garden Grove on Friday night that had a just a one of the nicest cow inductions I've ever seen. So we're going to make our way over to the MG crowd over here. Luckily, we didn't lose too many folks yet. Hey, Matt, how you doing? PC TV, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Matt's one of my buddies from the Balboa, great days of the Balboa show. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's so funny. It's great to see you again, man. I love your car here. It's good to see you. Yeah, a little gimbal here, but yeah, we've got a nice contingent of British cars here. Yeah. yeah. Lots of MGs, and I love MGs. Until, of course, well, the Lucas goes down on it. <laughs> Okay, no Lucas jokes. Okay, I won't say anything. It's just fine if you learn about it. Exactly, and that's always been the problem with all this stuff is people just don't know, and they always say, "Oh, we just ripped everything out and put Hitachi in." I'm like, "Okay." The trick is drinking a Guinness when you work on it. Is that what it is? I tell you what, because yeah, I never had any problems with the Lucas stuff, but everybody's like, oh, "I just changed everything to Hitachi," and I'm like, "Really? Okay." I never had any issues with them. I love these cars. Lucas is now owned by Denso, so if you buy a new Lucas alternator, it's a dip it's on Denso. Built by Denso. Oh, that's great. But Denso, they make a good product. This car here is exceptional. This is originally her dad's car, and she um, inherited it. And this car is amazing. This is a. It just took first in class, I think, or even maybe show. Or, the other day did really really well just a beautiful beautiful 73 and it's a split bumper she's kept the original North Carolina plates on and her dad bought this car brand new and you see the car other than a repaint in, in original condition so we walk over here to France I think his is a 59 1600 MGA and you see everybody just hanging out enjoying the day beautiful car here look at this little tiny mouse motor teeny tiny again super super clean single carb Weber very very pretty car all right all right 65 El Camino here LS converted we see this car quite a bit I always forget the guy's name I feel horrible I'm so bad with names 
but LS3 in this uh, particular 6.5. And it's pretty handy, 65 at that. So this is basically Cars and Brush Day, guys. A really good showing here. Um, we had to get breakfast. My boy was starving. Uh, the good old Chet Herbert. And um, my boy was starving, so we missed out on a couple of little things. But overall, I think we've had a good day here. And uh, just some really, really nice cars out here today. Really exceptional stuff. So, um, there's Trevor. Hello, Trevor. Oh, didn't get oh. much of a shot. Oh! Hey. All right, so let's go ahead and finish it up here. Beautiful convertible here. Looks like another 65. Mustang. 289. Very, 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 very clean. So, yeah, now it's just the sun's starting to come out. It's supposed to be 90 out here pretty soon. So, I think we're going to be rolling out of here pretty quick. <clears throat> this car is very original. Looks like the original interior car. Original tonneau. It's got factory caps on it. All super original. Nice car overall. So there you go. There's your 65 Ford Mustang. And then of course we've got Gary's big window. 56 Apache. And uh, he's a staple here. But this is one of the nicest 56 Apaches you're going to see ever. There goes the uh, little Myers Manx that was out here earlier. But again, yeah, here's Gary's truck. Just ultra, ultra, ultra clean. Old GT uh, Vega. Been here forever. There's that 60 cal bug of mine. And that's pretty much got it for the day. All right, there goes the buggy. And I think that's what gonna call it. So, from everybody here at Cars and Brunch and from Patrick here at PCTV, God bless, have a great day, and be safe. Love you all. Coming to you from the tap room here in Orange County, Cars and Brunch, Newport Beach. I gotta get a roll, this beautiful Mustang. Uh, what a way to enjoy your day. Beautiful Mustang. I just saw a nice rat rod. A little roll after the flawless here. Cars and Brunch, it's a good day today. It's getting warm right now, so it is time to head out. I'm trying the uh, the Dano style of shooting here. Custom Mike showed me last night or yesterday at the gas station how Dano used to do it, and uh, I thought it was very interesting. So now I'm trying it out. Here goes the beautiful two pad. I didn't get a chance to talk to the gentleman here. Oh, there's our host. Hi. I was about to come and say goodbye to you, but then this guy, this, this 210's leaving and it's just, you can't just let it leave without getting some video of it. How we going, bro? Yeah. Nice car. Alright guys, more rollouts. Come by and roll a PCTV sticker. Nice to meet you. Likes to meet you likewise. Thank you. Enjoy your day. You too, bud.